Hi, in this tutorial we're going to demonstrate how to use the map kit to display your current location on a Google map. So here's an example of what our project will do. We're going to be using a map view and we're going to set it up with a button so that when we tap it it will show us our location on the map and the text on the button will change and then we can tap it again to hide our location. So we'll set this up to toggle off and on. So to get started, we're going to create a new project in Xcode. So in Xcode, to create your new project, you want to make sure that you have iOS application selected. And we're going to do a single view application and click Next. We're going to give it a name and I'm just going to call it Maps. And we want to make sure a device family is set for iPhone. I'm not going to use storyboard since we only have a single view. And I'm going to make sure use automatic reference counting is checked off. And I'm going to click next. And I'm going to save my files onto my desktop and click create. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is since we're working with the map kit, we need to add that in to our frameworks. So I'm going to scroll down in this section on the summary of our project and you can see that we already have the UI kit, the foundation and core graphics framework. But Since not every app is going to use maps, we can add that in as we need to. So I'm going to click the plus sign here and it's going to pop up a list of additional frameworks that we can add to our application. And I'm going to scroll down, they're in alphabetical order, and I'm going to find the map kit framework and select that and click add and you can see here that it gets added into our list of frameworks now over here in my files list you can see that it's not in with the other frameworks and that's okay it doesn't have to be in there uh, but I'm just going to move it in there anyway just to keep things a little more organized and just to give you an idea of what happens by adding this Right, we have a folder in our MapKit framework of headers and you can see all of these different header files. And if I open up the MapKit.h file, and you can see it's importing all of these other header files. So by adding the MapKit header file to our project, we have access to all of this other functionality within our application. Let's begin setting up our interface by going to the view controller nib file. And I'm going to add a map view and a button here. So I'm going to put a round rectangle button at the bottom. And I'm just going to put the text on here that says find me. And then in the list of objects, I'm going to scroll down and find the map view. And I'm going to drag that onto my view as well. And I'm just going to stretch it out to give it some additional space. Okay, now the interface is set up. And we need to set these up with outlets and actions. So our map view is going to be an outlet. It's going to receive the information or data to display. We have a button that is going to cause an action. When it's tapped, we want it to display our location on the map. And we also want it to change the text on the button if our current location is being displayed so that we can toggle it back off to hide our location. So this is going to be both an outlet as well as an action. So I'm going to hide the utility panel and open up the assistant editor and we should have the view controller header file open to the side. And I'm going to right click and drag from my map view into my header file and release. And this is going to be an outlet and I'm going to name this outlet map view. So we'll be able to refer to this as map view. I'm also going to right click and drag from the button over to the header file. And since this is also going to be an outlet, I'm going to call this outlet toggle button because we're going to get the value from this button to say if the value of this is find me then display the location and if it's not to change the text on the button 
So we'll need to be able to refer to that button specifically. And this is also going to cause an action. So I'm going to right click and drag from my button over to the header file. And this time I'm going to change it to an action. And my action, I'm going to say, find me. And we'll click connect. Now we're getting an error message over here that's popping up and it's saying unknown type name MK map view. In other words, it doesn't recognize what this stuff is. And that's because we imported in the map kit, but we didn't tell it in here that we imported it and that we want to use it. So I'm going to say import map kit map kit dot H. So by importing in this header file, again, remember it's going to give us access to all of these methods and properties that are in as part of the map kit framework. And now that error message disappears. So I think that sets up our interface pretty much. And now I'm going to go into the implementation file and we'll set up our button so that it will display our location. So I'm going to go back out of the assistant editor into this standard editor mode and go into the implementation file. Now first, before we do anything else to set this up, let's just run this in the simulator and see what we have. Okay, so it just starts by displaying a map of the United States. So that is our map view, but our button doesn't do anything yet other than click. So let's go in and set that up. So we added the action find me and we have the skeleton for it down here at the very end and I'm just going to move this up to the top right after the synthesize statements so that it, we have a little more space on our screen and it makes it a little easier for viewing in the video. Now to simply get our current location on the map view all we have to do is to say map view dot shows user location and we're going to set that equal to yes. So simply by adding this line this turns on the property of shows user location on the map view. So let's test that out. Let's run this in the simulator. Okay we have the same view as before but now when we tap find me it zooms in on Cupertino, California. When you're testing this on the simulator Simulator doesn't have a GPS capability, so the default location is set to Cupertino. Okay, now um, the map view, we can, when we tap on it, it does say current location. We can hold down the option key on your keyboard and we can zoom in, zoom out. We can click and hold to pan. So we can manipulate this and zoom in like you would if you were using the map program on a device. But we were going to set this up so that when we turn this, when we tap this, it's going to change to hide location. So if it is showing our location, we can tap to hide it. So we can toggle this off and on. So that means we're going to go back into our find me action and modify that a little bit. So back in here, we can do an if-else statement and pretty much we can say if we can see our user location then to change the button text to hide location. So the way we code that is with an if and we can say if the name of our button which is toggle button. So if the toggle button and we're going to say the title for state and the state is UI control state normal I'm going to say is equal to string and then we can put in the text that's on the string which is find me. So we're going to check to see if the current state of the button is normal and it's equal to find me then what do we want it to do? We want it to do this map view show user location. So I'm going to copy this and put this in for the statement. We're also going to change the text that's on the button. So to change the text on our button it's going to be toggle button set title and then our string that we wanted to say so so hide me and then for the state UI control state normal. 
So that's what we want it to do when it's tapped. It's going to check to see if the button says find me and if it does say find me then we want to switch it to say hide me and display the user's location. Otherwise we'll have an else in here. We're going to change the text back and we're going to hide the view. So I'm going to copy this, paste that in, and then just change this. So it says find me and user location is not displayed. Okay, so I think that's everything we need to get that to work. So let's run this in the simulator and we'll say find me. And it changed the button text to hide me. And then when we tap it again, it hides our location and swaps the text back on the button. So we have it toggled off and on. So that's basically how to add a map view and find the user's current location on the map.